Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are back with some more Blaster Master Zero as we can see uh, idling right here in uh, Sophia 3. I did a little bit of exploration off camera, didn't really do anything. Just kind of, uh, you know, explored this area out. Uh, right above me is one of those gates that we were able to break free and let the water drain out and that led us to this little cave right here that so we are going to jump in here and see what's going on in here according to the overworld map there is a item in here but we need to do our not ignition flash our flash weapon there we go oh i am so good so glad we did flash because yeah that would have been a bad thing to try to walk in this so let's see if we can get around without dying or running into the water which is kind of funny something that is so trivial seems so deadly in so many games water it just seems like a lot of people have a a, a water allergy a lot of game uh, gaming characters has seem to have a water allergy that's definitely uh, seems to be the case I can see it in this one I guess if he's wearing some kind of robotic suit or something like that but there are other games that make it a little bit silly that uh, you know you you die like in uh, Castlevania 2 I think you can survive lava but you cannot survive water so yeah, Mario. Mario is a tricky one because sometimes he dies in water and sometimes he doesn't die in water. If you've ever noticed that, I've always thought that was kind of uh, funny, but we'll see what we got in here. Water does seem to hurt us a little bit, so we'll try to stay away from it as much or stay out of it as much as possible. Hey, okay, well, there is my... Oh, it's a life up. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but life up by one hmm. okay well not a bad thing definitely but I was hoping for something some kind of power up to help us out in that other location there we were getting pretty stomped in that maze like where the waves were coming through in the last episode so again this is another one of those things that you kind of they build upon uh, maybe I accidentally went to that other one, you know, ahead of time. But, uh, yeah, it's really well done. I know I keep on saying that, but I'm, I'm super impressed with it, how they've done it. Okay, so we've got most of this area. There's a boss there. I can go up and around. There's definitely some more areas to be looking out at. But let's, I guess, go looking out and seeing what there. Oops, I didn't really want to hit that guy. Be on the way down. Oh, shoot. All kinds of stuff is damaging me right now. There we go. What I do with the electric? Oh, missiles might blow that. Well, the missiles, no. But will the electric charge work there? Oh, nope. Huh. It will work on these little guys, though. If you jump over them and hit the electric charge it does uh hit these little landmine things and we'll blow them up see if we can collect a few of these guys and hopefully get maybe a green i thought really what i wanted nope. another there we go another green saving thing life refiller don't like those things i don't like these bee things they're really nasty i mean not like horribly nasty but definitely annoying nasty are we in a new area now no but it looks like we can go down some more ouch that's not what i wanted to do <laughs> oops a little too down i guess need some more health that might give us another little tunnel to go into though or a whole nother area sure why not this is definitely i'm not like it's not that i'm like upset about it but it's definitely a, a, a very mazy area it 
save point. That means something's going on over here. Usually they are put, oh, what's that? We got a huge mutineer, yeah, maybe it's my imagination, but I can't help but think that it kind of looks like Fred. Ew, this thing is nasty. It's so slimy. Eve, I totally get what you're saying, but let's focus here. All right, here we go. Warning, the earth shattering tyrant. Ribberoli. Ribberoli? Is that what it said? Ribberoli. Yeah, Ribberoli. Okay. Ouch. Okay, so what are you doing? You got a really long tongue there, buddy. Um. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 ouch. That's not good. Okay. Didn't expect little uh, robots coming out at me. And he's going to eat those. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Ouch. Right, we're going to end up dying here. <laughs> <laughs> he ate? Ow, crud. You're definitely gonna watch out for that thing, man. That jump is nasty. And there's no way I could avoid that from... I think I can get under him in time to avoid that. Eh, well, that didn't go well for us, though, did it? Let's try that again. I think I could... Maybe missiles? What else weapons do I have? I can try the laser. I forget exactly what the laser does. Let's also, we could try the missiles a little bit too and see if that damages them. Maybe damages them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Ribbit rolly. Ribbit roll. Come on, let's shoot, see if I, come on, shoot my missiles. Okay, the missiles does hurt it, which is good to know. Hey, gee, he's gonna break that. I need to get those. I need to let him not eat those. Because that gets his health. Oh, crud. He got some from the other side, too. Dude, that's so not fair. I think it's gonna be a thing. Not Try not to get too far away from him. Because he does that big jump we need to ah, give me give me, give me. Yeah. Nah. all right well at least we got one and he ah, that jump that's the jump i want to avoid ouch you got me again dude ah crud get away get away he's turning colors oh wow crushing me here so close to, like, so close to killing him. Oh, man. Oh, hey, I think we can do it here. Um, did we lose the, did we lose the laser somehow? I wonder if I missed the laser somehow. Okay, we got a mutant. Yeah, 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 blah, blah. Let's see if we can laser him and see if that does any more damage. Need to stop getting him too soon. Like, chase him. I want him to get. I want him to, like, do something like that, and then I could so chase me. Do your tongue. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, I got him to stop a little bit there. That hurt. I shouldn't have. Let him get me there. Come on. Come on. Just try to bust him out. There we go. Sweet. Just, uh, just hammering it. <laughs> Getting him killed there. That was a uh, good move there. Trying to hammer it out. Oh, okay, we got a key. Sweet. A key that opens the shutters in the waterworks area. Okay. This is the security program that opens the shutters in the waterworks area. Well, it just told me that, didn't it? Able to remove the security and pry some more shutters open. Yep. Into your blaster rifle. I don't even have an extra. You don't even have to exit Sophia. Just get close to the shutters and you'll be able to crack the security. However, Sophia can't get close to a lock. You'll have to access them on foot to get them open. 
Got it. Thank you. After all this, how are things going over in Glacier area? Hang on just a second. Looks like there's even more of them now than there was before. Besides, Fred Signal still hasn't moved, but those mutants gathering, there's a chance they might be after something. Let's get over there as quickly as we can. Okay, well, I'm a little confused now. Glacier area, we... I'm really just, I'm confused as to what the glacier area is and why that... I don't know what it does, kind of. I would like to get this other boss up here too, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe it has another power up or another look at that real quick. Yeah, see, we look like we still got some main weapons, some sub weapons and maneuver weapons to get here in Sophie. So it looks like there's a possibility still for several weapons that the water area is going to be a little difficult though. Hmm. Let's see if we can head back over there and try that. I think will probably be our best course of action. Let's see if we can clear out. Ouch, that's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to try out. Yeah, I can't. Gotta like shoot right at the base. It's just over your weapon. You've got to be really careful and make sure you time that shot right to get the uh, hit on those guys. Ouch. That was bad. Come on, get up there, Sophie. Don't be making me mad. Ouch. Hey, I ran into him twice. That wasn't a good idea. Hmm. So what is the way back up, though? Okay, there's the boss, like, right above me, but... He is a little like a roundabout sort of way. <clears throat> I think that that area there with the uh, water coming in and around is going to be mainly a, uh, what's the word, just a patient sort of thing. Too bad that I can't go up in the pipes. That'd be kind of cool if I could. I <laughs> saved myself from that landmine just barely okay I think I've been in that one above me that one had nothing in it if I remember correctly this is where we went through last time yeah and then the, yeah we went through there and we did that last time. but we were unable to defeat this area last episode so let's see if we can get through here and see what's here I can't shoot that little slime thing, but the water comes through. We want to make sure we wait on the water. I'm just going to wait it out. Here it goes. It'll be a little bit of a maze thing and see if we can figure out where we're supposed to be going here. There is... Now on him, maybe another sub-weapon or two, but of course the other weapons are all kind of set up diff separately go down here and see i don't like these guys in one bit they're actually fairly tough i mean if you don't have like something to manage them they're pretty strong there's nothing in there it looks like i don't see any openings or even any cracks wait for that water <laughs> So I'm so paranoid with this water and lava stuff now. That pink ooze in the water. Uh, definitely not a good combination. You got you a little on edge. Now the pink water had a, or the pink lava stuff had a little bit of a warning. You saw it. But I'm thinking that the, the, the warning here is you, there's a little bit of a pre-sound and the screen shakes a little bit so it still gives you a warning ouch but not much of one i think i lost them. this just gets me back up here. okay that really okay didn't do anything if i can take care of 
the like the the enemies I really don't have to worry about the rocks at all I don't need to break all these rocks and make sure I get every little thing either I wonder oh they're stairs so maybe that's why that they're protected I think this is where I was last time but there is several other ways to go so gotta get these guys at an angle or something they do freeze up a little bit if you notice that like if I hit them a couple times and then stop it kind of like shorts there for a second and that helps out of course the wave gun does help out as well too there looks like a crack can I get through that I bet you I get a power up to get through that at some point that's my way out this is really really tricky actually the problem is and the nice thing is that they don't show the platforms on the uh, overhead map which is kind of nice because then you don't know what's coming up you don't know the setup and I like that like I just see the rooms and that's it And that kind of makes it a little bit harder to deal with get up there See now he's like shorted a little bit and I was able to get around him that, that I mean this whole almost covers this whole area right here which is a big deal I mean if I could stop them like that before they even start moving that's a big deal we got a couple doors we can go out of here not sure which one's the wise one to go out but I'm at the other end so I think this is probably a good way to go but I got to be super careful here because this is gonna be a long run up here it looks like oh that didn't get it we're just gonna have to take the damage there it looks like he did not make it but maybe we went the wrong way I don't know but there we go we got a little bit of damage I think we could manage out of this here okay we got that give me the power up come on come into my beam let me shoot you in the face oh there we go that's it right there look at it we made it yeah boss time pokeball to what's here another giant frog oh lizard of some sort with very very spiky teeth the spark a salamander uh oh that means electric are you electric boogie 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 oh no you're not really doing anything except for oh yeah he is he is doing something here with his electric i was gonna say you're not really doing anything are you but he is it didn't seem very too hard to avoid though even for a late game boss this seems like a really easy boss to handle the other frog was kind of hard but this guy was definitely on the easier end of it what did we get here we got a spark tackle a sub weapon that unleashes a high speed tackle attack in the direction sophie is facing so yeah okay well that's kind of cool let's go out here and save it we got a couple bosses down and we need to find ourselves a, a save spot where is the closest one uh we could go down might be the quickest way to get to one but let's jump falling down is easy going up not as not as not always as easy as going down so i guess we're going up as that little pipe dip out it's you know i'm not gonna make it yeah whoa no no that takes me does that not save it oh did i get that spark tackle oh i was so okay so it must save me when i beat the boss that is so okay we're gonna leave it here thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time bye everybody